Hello everyone. Today I'm here to review a new book by Leela Julie called Beautiful Planet. Now this was sent to me by a lovely lady who works with Skittle Dog, um, which is an imprint of Thames and Hudson. So they're a publishing company and they have published this new book by her. Uh, the publisher is different from her last book. Now, as soon as I saw this book, I could immediately notice the size difference between this one and her last book, which is A Flower Year. So, as you can see, it's comparatively larger in size. And th this one was a hardbound book. Um, whereas this one is a paperback and it's got this sort of a cover, a foldable cover. So the paper is ivory. It's, it reminds me of, uh, Johanna Basford's books and it's literally the same paper quality as her books. And which is amazing because this paper, we all know that it takes um, colors really well. So it's got a really good tooth to it. And like her last book was I, a little off-white in color. This one's white. So I think that you all are going to really enjoy coloring in this book. So, Beautiful Planet is about um, flora and fauna that you find in uh, different walks of nature, such as meadows, mountains, um, forests, and even underwater, you know, aquatic life. This is, again, a very beautiful uh, full page forest page and I love coloring full page spreads and I think one of the best parts about about this book is that there are pages where you can take as much time as you want to and there are other pages that you can finish in like one sitting you know um, so yeah you're gonna have fun both ways again a beautiful double page spread that I can already imagine coloring in. <laughs> there are also uh, some quotes from poems. So this one is from a poem by Oscar Wilde. So all of these quotes are related to nature and it'll be funny if you want you can like just you know doodle something on this book. You can uh, you can draw flowers or anything that you want to and so there's a lot of space for you to add your own illustrations if you if you'd like again a beautiful cluster of uh, flowers so this reminds me of the flower ear again a beautiful cluster of flowers I really love um, such illustrations because I can see myself using my watercolors or even color pencils um, to just enjoy you know have fun coloring so I started this page I just wanted to test a few different uh, color colored pencil brands to see how they work these were done using luminance that I recently got and these lighter green olive leaves are colored in Prisman Color Premier, and this flower is colored using polychromos. The paper takes all three brands really, really well. I had so much fun coloring in this, and it was so quick. Uh, this page blends really well, so you can add layers and layers of pencils, and this this page will take it really well. And I think that's what I love most um, about this page, this book. I am 
in love with this paper. <laughs> love it. So another beautiful cluster of flowers. You could add a background if you want. You can do so much because the paper size is really good. It's big. Another page with a quote and space to sort of you know write things and if you're into calligraphy i enjoy calligraphy so i can write my own quotes on this book uh yeah uh, some of these pages have a mix of flora and fauna so you'll find florals and you know creatures animals that are found in those uh terrains or with those florals Oh, I love this page. So I really like how uh, all of these quotes have meanings, you know, uh, they are related to the pictures. So unlike the flower ear, this book does not have a last page that shows the different um, names, the flower names that, are, that have been drawn in this book. But if you want, you can, and if you have the flower ear, you can always refer to that, to that book to know the name, names of these flowers. So I know that these are poppies. And I'm not really good with flowers. I, I, I don't have much knowledge about flowers, to be very honest. I can't recognize most of them. But at the same time, it gives more room for creativity. So I can use my creativity and not use the conventional colors of those flowers. You know, I can always color them differently. These are all aquatic animals, crabs, etc. Um, aquatic life. Oh, I really like this page. See, a lot of circular designs that you can just be done quickly in a few sittings. And you can always add a background if you if you'd like. I would personally just leave it the background white and just focus on the main drawing. Oh, I really like this page. I can see myself coloring most, if not all, pages in this book because that does not really happen with me a lot of a lot because. <laughs> In most of my big books, I've only colored maybe like a few pages, but in this book, I can literally see myself coloring a lot. Oh, I really like this scenery. These are all mountains. So if you're into painting, you can paint a nice uh, scenery here, or if you want, you can like, just color one and just be done, you know. You don't have to spend a lot of time coloring the entire page. You can just color one and you'll be done. So I really like that about this book. It gives you more room and more options, you know. I love this page, wow. If you're a flower lover, you can also get like two books and use one for practice, you know, like I would, I, I can see myself getting another book and keeping this one and, you know, just practicing in the other book with different combinations of flowers because these combinations can work in different other books as well. Oh, I love this. This is 
It is summer and the sun loves a million green leaves, masses of green. Ooh, a snake. I love this page, absolutely love this page. And here you've got a list of the poems and about the poets. So if you want, you can Google them and learn more about the poems. So that's a really nice idea. And yeah, that's the end of the book. So overall, I really love this book a lot. And Leila Tudy never stops uh, surprising us, you know, she's I love her artwork. In fact, I have colored like one page. Yeah, this one. I colored this few months back. So I really love her artwork, especially the lines, the line art. It makes it look more real. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I wore a flower lover like me if you enjoy coloring nature this book is for you and you are not going to be disappointed so have an amazing day thank you so much for watching and happy coloring bye